I am Ali Raynard. Let's take a look at Bangladesh's current weather situation. Earlier this week, the Indian government received many shift reports from the Bay of Bengal. However, due to the fact that Indo-Pakistan relations are generally hostile, information was not passed on the Pakistani government. Pakistan Meteorological Department issued a report called Danger Preparedness. Let's hear from our scene reporter about the current conditions the people of the Bangladesh have faced today. Liv? Good morning, people of Bangladesh. I am Olivia Arms. It is November 7th, 1970, and there seems to be some severe weather expected starting today. As you can see, the cyclone it's starting to cause some heavy winds and precipitation. The Pakistan Meteorological Department issued a report calling for danger preparedness in the coastal regions on November 12th. However, only 1% of the population has been seeking shelter. Let's take a look into how the people of Bangladesh are preparing for a serious cyclone and its devastating effects.
The storm surge is around 2 to 5 meters higher than the normal tides. I'm being told that 90% of the population is aware of the cyclone, yet only 1% is seeking shelter. It looks like this storm is being very underestimated. Back to you, Allie. <laughs> the day after the storm struck, three Pakistani gunboats and a hospital ship carrying medical personnel and supplies left Shinagong Islands of Hataya, Sidwip, and Katudia. Teams of Pakistani armies reached many of the stricken areas in the two days following the landfall of the cyclone. By November 24th, the Pakistani government had allocated a further $116 million to finance relief operations. India became one of the first nations to offer aid to Pakistan, despite the generally poor relationships between the two countries. By the end of November, India had pledged $6.9 million. U.S. President Richard Nixon allocated a $10 million grant to provide food and other essential relief to the survivors. Before the cyclone season, check that walls, roof, and eaves of your home are secure. Trim treetops and branches well clear of your home. Preferably fit shutters or at least metal screens to all glass areas. Clear your property of loose materials that could blow about and possibly cause injury or damage or extreme winds. Prepare an emergency kit containing a portable battery radio, <coughs> torch and spare batteries, water containers, dried or canned foods and a can opener, matches, a fuel lamp, a portable stove, cooking gear, eating utensils and a first aid kit, and manual masking tape through windows and waterproof bags. <laughs> Keep a list of emergency phone numbers on display. Check neighbors to make sure they are prepared. Fill vehicles fuel tanks. Close shutters and board up heavily and board up or heavily tape all windows. Draw curtains and lock doors. Remain indoors with your pets. Stay tuned to your local radio or TV for further information and disconnect all electrical appliances. After the cyclone, do not go outside until officially advised it is safe. Um Check for gas leaks. Don't use electric appliances if wet. Listen to local radio or official warnings and advice. If you have to evacuate, do so earlier. Don't return until advised. Beware of damaged power lines, bridges, buildings, trees, and don't enter floodwaters. Alrighty folks, that's all for now. Don't forget to stay safe and stay classy. Stay tuned for the following segment on training your pet cicada. M bar. Pressure is higher at the edge. <laughs> is it M bar? 